In the March 2022 report, which was based on a survey of 1,000 adults in the United States, 41% of consumers said that shortages had prevented them from making potential purchases in all retail categories. This is an increase from 36% of consumers who said the same thing in November 2021. In March 2022, there were 51% reported product shortages for food and grocery purchases, up from 43% in September 2021. This was higher than any other category. Want to know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned till the end. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about Whole Foods Report's big shortage as grocery products get scarce. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start. From January 2022 to March 2022, the situation worsened as consumers increasingly reported worsening shortages despite some bottleneck issues in the supply chain being resolved for many manufacturers. Morning Consult noted that while some product categories have overcome many supply chain issues that have plagued the industry for nearly two years, the few categories that are still impacted and under pressure account for a relatively large portion of consumer spending, making them the most disruptive to many customers. The report looked at the retail landscape for consumers and found that 51% of consumers reported experiencing product shortages in the grocery category, which accounts for 13% of consumer spending. According to the report, clothing and apparel ranked lowest on the list, with 12% of adults surveyed in the United States reporting product shortages. Rising concerns about the rising cost of living can be explained by the high degree of supply pressure on spending categories that account for such a large portion of total spending. According to Morning Consult's report, grocery items stood out as having both the most severe impact from shortages in March and the biggest jump since September. While the number of reported shortages of household goods like paper goods, home improvement supplies, and appliances has decreased or remained the same over the past six months, the number of reported shortages of specific grocery food items has increased by 9% since September 2021. 33% of consumers reported that their online grocery slash food orders were slower than last month, while 43% reported that delivery speeds were roughly the same as the previous month. This resulted in a perception of a slower delivery speed for most categories of online orders in March compared to April. Many consumers are also concerned about their household budgets as a result of rising inflation, because the cost of many commonly purchased goods continues to rise while the majority of incomes have not. The Consumer Price Index, which measures how much consumers pay for goods, was up 8.5% for all items in March 2022 and it was up 10% for at-home food purchases compared to a year earlier. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, inflation expectations are higher than the current rate of annual wage growth, which was 5.6% in March. According to the report, the current level of inflation expectations would imply a decline in purchasing power not only for those on fixed incomes, including many retirees, but also for those relying on wages and salaries as a primary source of income if wage growth does not accelerate. In March 2022, 60% of adults in the United States said they were very concerned about inflation, up from 44% a year earlier. By age, people born after WW2 were generally worried at 70%, followed by Gen Xers at 63%, 20 to 30 year olds at 52%, and Gen Z at 45%. The grocery and food category has the highest level of anticipated price increases in comparison to other categories, and many consumers are also anticipating additional price increases to many of the product categories. In a survey conducted by Morning Consult, 70% of adults in the United States anticipate additional price increases for groceries in the coming year, followed by 66% for energy and utilities. The highest proportion of Americans who anticipate further increases are found in the food and energy categories, which are the most volatile. The report stated, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and associated sanctions have roiled energy markets, while supply chain disruptions continue to have a significant impact on the grocery industry. Indeed, even as purchasers express worries over continuous expansion, the rising cost of staple and food things presently can't seem to influence interest for regular things versus high-end buys like lodging or another vehicle. The demand for these items is typically fairly rigid. Consequently, 
high prices and disruptions to the supply chain are unlikely to discourage purchases for these categories, the report stated. Since the pandemic, the supply chain has changed. The economy has been hurt by inflation, supply and demand, and a lack of workers. It's not clear how much of an impact these shortages will have on holiday meals. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says that there haven't been any nationwide supply chain disruptions, but some foods might be out of stock and cost more for a while before stores can get them back in stock. Many stores have struggled to keep wheat flour on the shelves in time for the holidays due to the war in Ukraine. Due to record heat waves and the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, India, the second largest wheat producer in the world, has banned wheat exports to other countries. One bag of wheat flour per household is being rationed in some markets as a last resort. According to NBC12, Montana Gold Bread Company owner Rich Lovick, baking has become more difficult due to high costs and limited resources. Customers must now pay these high food prices directly to businesses. According to Parade, romaine and iceberg lettuce prices have increased by nearly 400 percent since 2019. A box of iceberg lettuce cost restaurants $67 in October, up from $14 a few years ago. Customers have been notified by Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, Subway, and Panera that there may be a lettuce shortage, and this essential ingredient may not be available at all locations. Parade said that while some restaurants are changing their menus, others are charging extra for leafy greens. As per information from the U.S. branch of horticulture, how much margarine in U.S. storage spaces fell 10% month over month in August and is down 22%, contrasted with a similar time a year prior, the New York Post revealed. Additionally, the price of this essential baking ingredient increased by 24.6% year over year in August, according to Better Homes and Gardens. By September, the national average price of butter was $4.72 per pound, up from $3.67 in January. The avian influenza has killed close record levels of chickens and turkeys in the U.S. this year, Reuters revealed, bringing down egg creation and pushing up costs at supermarkets across the country. Egg prices increased by 10% in October, the largest monthly increase of any grocery item, according to data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics and CNBC. In October, a dozen grade A large eggs cost an average of $3.42, up from $1.82 the year before. The bird flu decimated U.S. turkey populations this year, as previously mentioned. According to Reuters, Minnesota-based Hormel Foods anticipates that the avian flu will reduce its turkey production at least until March 2023. According to the American Farm Bureau, retail prices for fresh boneless, skinless turkey breast reached a record $6.70 per pound in September, an increase of 112% from a year earlier and Reuters reported that turkey meat production is expected to decrease by 6% by 2021. Furthermore, supply is impacted by additional individuals cooking and eating at home, a pattern that began at the beginning of the pandemic. Dennis states, demand has been very, very high. Nonetheless, she does not believe that stockpiling is necessary. She gave lumber as an illustration of a product that was extremely difficult to obtain for a period of time but has since become more available, and the food supply chain is likely to recover in a similar manner, though it may take some time. There is no need to buy in a panic if products in stores have purchase limits. The retailers simply exercise responsibility and control over their inventory. We'll have enough, says Dennis, if people can purchase only what they need. Customers should anticipate that certain items may be more difficult to obtain at specific times. Be considerate of other shoppers and only buy what you absolutely need. Also, don't be afraid to inquire about product availability at your local grocery store. In the interim, Whole Foods stated that it is working to stock its shelves with brand name alternatives that will soon be available in stores. A spokesperson for Whole Foods stated, we work hard in partnership with all of our suppliers to ensure that customers find the products they are looking for when shopping our stores. Sadly, climate and other stockpile factors beyond our reach sporadically influence item accessibility. When this happens, we work as quickly as we can to come up with solutions and offer alternatives that meet our high-quality standards. The issues are angering a few clients, as Joni Sweet, 
who said she has as of late experienced deficiencies of tofu, soy milk, and eggs at her nearby entire food sources store. Sweet stated, I cut down on how much I shop there because it's such a frustrating experience. The things I like to buy are frequently out of stock. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for the day guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.